Today we're going to take a look at the Dexter 95 inch long 3500 pound trailer axle beam with the Easy Lube spindles. Now this axle beam will act as part of your trailer suspension system. This will replace an axle on your trailer and you can fabricate a suspension to fit your application. It is high strain steel construction. The axle tubing diameter is 2 and 3 8 inches. And this axle is an underslung design. And that by, by that I mean the spring seats here that your leaf springs will mount to. These are welded to the underside of the axle. And they do that for low ride height, which makes it easier to load and unload your trailer. So the spring seats, the spindles, and the brake flanges here are all welded on. And if you notice, it is a four bolt brake flange. Now you might notice the bend right here in the center of the axle. This is what will ensure the proper camber angle. Basically, when you install this axle, that bend should face up. And the label right here should face the rear of the trailer. Now if that label happens to be missing, you can see these electric brake wires here that come out. These should also face the rear of the trailer. And they do include these brake wires like there's on that end and over here it runs through the axle. That's included if you're going to install electric brakes to this axle. Now having the center right a bit higher and the sides of the axle are bent lower, it allows that axle to give just enough to compensate for the load that's put on the trailer. This bend will create a nice zero camber angle for even road to tread contact across the width of your trailer tires and it'll ensure that the angle of the wheels is correct for your towing needs. The result will be a nice excellent straight line acceleration for steady controlled towing. These spindles you can see, they are a straight easy lube spindle, there's no drop to them. And when I say easy lube, that's the ones that have the built in grease zerk fittings on the end here that allow you to put a grease gun on and pump grease into your bearings without having to disassemble the hub. So it makes it a lot easier to maintain your bearings with the grease because normally if you have a hub on here, you have to take that off, remove the bearings, grease them, put them in, slide it all back on. Here with it all installed, you can just put a grease gun in there and pump the grease into the bearings. <clears throat> Does include the castle nuts, the V-washers, the retaining washers. Now the bearings that go on here are all sold separately. This part is made in the USA. Weight capacity is 33,500 pounds, and the two critical measurements when you purchase an axle is going to be hub face to hub face length, and that would be as if we install a hub on here, the hub face, you'll measure from that all the way across to a hub on the other side, the hub face, so hub face to hub face length on this axle will be 95 inches with the hubs installed, and the other measurement would be spring center to spring center length, and that's measured from the center of this spring seat to the center of that spring seat over there and on this one would be 80 inches which is normally your trailer width and the last thing I want to show you is when we ship these we don't ship them bare like this we do protect them <coughs> what we end up doing is putting a coating of grease on there to keep corrosion from happening and then we'll take this thick rubber uh, sleeve here and you just insert it on there and it slides all the way on just like that and then we ship them that way and it'll protect them from any damage and from corrosion. But that should do it for the review on the Dexter 95 inch long 3500 pound trailer axle beam with easy lube spindles. <laughs>